Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubright with Algebra 1 Honors. Today's lesson is 7-6, Choosing a Factoring Method. All right, guys, so we're going to factor each polynomial completely and explain each step. So if you are given 2x squared minus 162, we're going to take out our greatest common factor of 2 because um, 2 is in common with both of them. So we're pulling out that 2. And 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 81 is negative 162. Okay, so you're just pulling out that 2. And then now, do you guys notice anything? Can I do anything else? Do you want me to zoom in? See some of you squinting. What is this right here? Difference of squares, right? So x squared minus 81 is the same thing as x plus 9 times x minus 9, because 9 squared is 81 and x squared is x squared, right? x squared. Bring down that 2. So we have 2 times x plus 9 times x minus 9. That's your difference of squares. Let's look at another one. What's in common here? 3. What else? We can pull out a 3 and an, wait, uh-oh. You said n squared, but that's an m. And that's an N. So they're not in common, so we can't actually pull them out. It did look at first like they were the same letter, but they're not. Be careful. So when I pull out a 3, I have 3 times M squared would be 3M squared. And 3 times what is negative 3N squared? Negative N squared, right? Do I have difference of squares again? Is this a perfect square and a perfect square? Yes. The square root of m squared is m, right? They cancel each other out. Why? Well, because m squared square root, square root is to the 1 half, right? And 2 times 1 half is 2 over 2, which is 1. Right? 2 over 2, which is m to the first, or m. And that's why. You guys know that. You know that the square root of m squared is m. So m minus n times m plus n. Bring down that 3. So once again, this was factoring. Factor the GCF and difference of squares. All right, so compare the methods of factoring the two polynomials. Compare the methods of factoring these two polynomials. So what did you guys do? They're both the same, right? This question kind of is like a little bit tricky the way that they write it. I don't really care for the way they, they uh, wrote this question. But the methods are the same, except the second polynomial has two variables, right? How would the factoring change for the polynomial 3m squared minus 12n squared? So what are you going to pull out with the 3 and the 12? What's in common? 3. And then m squared and n squared. There's nothing you can do, right? So it would be 3 times m squared minus 3 times what is 12? 4. 4n squared. All right, now what? Are these differences squares? Is this a perfect square and a perfect square? Okay, and they're being subtracted. So m plus 2n, m minus 2n. Why did I do a 2? Why is it 2n? Because the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of n squared is n. So on this one, the only difference that I had to do is I had to also take into account that there was a coefficient that was a perfect square, right? All right, so to factor a perfect square trinomial with more than one variable, you can use the same patterns that you use with the perfect square trinomials in one variable. All right, so we already did this the other day, right? Remember this? If it's a perfect square and a perfect square, then the middle term is two times their square roots, right? So let's look here. First thing we need to do is we have to pull out what's in common. All of these have a three in common. 
right? And that's it. So 3 times g squared plus 4gh plus 4h squared, right? Because 3 times g squared is 3g squared. 3 times 4gh is 12gh. 3 times 4h squared is 12h squared, right? If I just quickly boil that back out in my head, I can verify that I didn't mess anything up. And that was just factor the GCF, right? You're just factoring out the greatest common factor. All right, now what? Do you guys see that this is a perfect square? What's the square root of G squared? G. What's the square root of 4H squared? 2H. Well, let's see. G squared, or, or and we can FOIL it out or we can do this first. G times 2H is 2GH times 2, 4GH. You guys see that? 2GH times 2 is 4GH. Let's look. G squared plus 2GH plus 2GH, or 4GH, plus 4H squared, and then times 3. You guys okay on that? Are you seeing that? That this is a perfect square, this is a perfect square, this middle term is 2 times their square roots. Are you guys noticing the pattern? So you can write it like this, or you can write it like this. Okay? Both ways are, are fair game, and they could write it either way on the, on the EOC. Sometimes they write it like this just to confuse you, okay? So just make sure that you understand that this is the same thing as writing it twice, because anything that's squared, it's, it's, it's times itself, right? Two times. Yes. Yes. And don't ever just distribute that. Why can I not distribute that? Because there's addition here, right? It's a binomial. You can only distribute it if it's a monomial, if it's one term, if it's all just connected with multiplication. But once you have symbols in there, once you have like addition or subtraction in there, you can't just distribute it. It breaks the rules. It's this whole, the sum of G and 2H times the sum of G and 2H. So you cannot distribute. Do not do that. All right, so this was a perfect square trinomial. All right. Which pattern would you use to factor this? All right, so with your table partner, I want you guys to look this up and try to factor this. Notice that this and this are both perfect squares, and I want you guys to try to factor this with your table partner. All right, you guys done? Raise your hand if you're still working. All right, I'll give you one second. Scan my key in.
All right, guys, we're going over this. So, square root of 16a squared. 4a, right? Square root of 36b squared. 6 what? 6b. Plus or minus? You guys see how there's a negative here? It's going to be a minus. 16a squared minus 24ab minus 24ab is minus 48ab plus 36b squared. You guys okay with that? What else can I do that I didn't do from the start that I probably should have done from the start? What can I pull out? Isn't a 4 and a 6 have something in common? A 2, right? So this is the same thing as 2 times 2a minus 3b and 2 times 2a minus 3b. So in reality, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2a minus 3b. So if I would have noticed from the start, I could have pulled out a 4. Look, 4 times 4a squared minus 12ab plus, what is that, 9b squared? Square root, 2a, 3b, right? 2a minus 3b times 2a minus 3b, right? 4 times 2a minus 3b times 2a minus 3b. So even if you accidentally don't pull out your GCF at first, you can see, oh wait, there's a common factor that I can pull out. And then if you pull it out here and here, you're pulling out a 2 and a 2, you're pulling out 4. 2 times 2 is 4, and those reduce to 2a minus 3b each. So if you pulled out the 4 from the start, you're going to get there right away. If you didn't realize that, you can still get there in the end. So don't fret, okay? Just take a deep breath and realize, okay, there's more than one way to solve these. All right, so over here, can, is there something that I can pull out first? A 3, right? So 3 times x squared plus 7xy plus 12y squared. Yes. Yes, you can. Now what? Perfect square. Is that one a perfect square? Is 12 a perfect square? No. No, right? So I just have to do um, my factors. So what am I going to get with the 12? 1 and 12, 2 and 2 and 6, 3 and, and then that's everything. So 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, okay? And we need them to add to positive 7. Positive 3, positive 4, okay? So what do I have? With your table partner, try this out real quick. Try to figure out what you think this factors to. What do you think this is going to factor to? All right, guys, so we have x. Do you guys see how this is a y squared? So instead of plus 3, we do plus 3y, plus 4y. Were you able to get to that? I know I haven't taught that to you before, so I wanted to see if you guys could figure that out on your own. x squared plus 4xy plus 3xy plus 12y squared. See how that works? 
So all you're doing is because there's a y squared here, you're just putting a y on these letters, on, or on these letters, on these numbers, on these coefficients, right? All right, so would finding the factors of the sum be enough to factor the polynomial? Why or why not? Let's actually just skip down. We're running out of time, so I want to skip to the practice problems. All right, so number one, what do I want to do? What am I going to pull out first? Pull out an x. x times x plus 6y plus 9x. Are you guys noticing something? I did what you said, but what would have been wiser to do? You guys aren't seeing it? Are there any like terms? Where is there a three? <laughs> what are you? I'm hearing three. <laughs> I don't understand. Like terms, guys. Things that can be combined. Look, there's nine x squared and one x squared. That's how many x squared? Ten x squared plus six x y. Now what? You can pull out a two x. 2x times what is 10x squared? 5x. Good job. 2x times what is 6xy? Am I not 3y. And let's zoom out. You guys see that? They're not always the same. There might be something different. Like, you guys know how to combine like terms, but because they haven't given you any that you had to combine like terms, you fall for it, right? What do you guys think I should do on the next one? Tell me what you think I should do. It's divisible by 4, so pull out a 4. 4x four squared minus xy minus 2y squared. Now what? I just do the factors? 1 and 2. Okay, how am I going to get to negative 1? Negative 2, positive 1. All right, so 4 times x plus 1 or plus what? Plus 1y or plus y. And then x minus 2y. Because of the y squared, we throw a y on those numbers. So it's plus 1y minus 2y. x squared minus 2xy plus xy is minus 1xy, right? Minus 2y squared. Next one. What's that one? Difference of squares. Good. So it's going to be x. What's the square root of negative 4y squared? What's the square root of 4y squared? 2y, right? So plus 2y and x minus 2y. Difference of squares. Next one. Anything to pull out? No. All right, so square, um, 10 is 1 and 10. 2 and 5. 3 doesn't work. 4 doesn't work. We're back to 5, so that's every single factor. Because it's an h squared, we're really putting h's on them, right? What multiplies to negative 10 h squared and adds to 3? What's going to add to 3? Positive 5, negative 2. So g minus 2h, g plus 5h. Let's double check. g squared plus 5gh minus 2gh, that's your 3gh, minus 10h squared. Five minutes. All right. Next one. Try numbers five and six with your table partner.
All right, guys, is there anything that you pulled out? No? 2 times 3, or 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 1 and 6, 2 and 3. What multiplies to negative 6 and adds to positive 5? 6 and negative 1, right? Is 6 times negative 1 going to give you negative um, 6? Yes. And 6 plus negative 1 is 5. When you said 2 and 3, positive 2 and positive 3, yes, but positive 2 times positive 3 will not give you negative 6. So that's why you can't use those. First term twice without the squared. Put your factors underneath. So positive 6, negative 1. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 6 three times. So you're going to have m plus 3 times 2m minus 1. Difference of squares, right? The square root of 4x squared is 2x. The square root of negative 9y squared, 9, the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of y squared is y, 3y. Are you guys feeling okay about this stuff? Yeah? Starting to, starting to click a little bit? All right. So we have one minute left, so I want you guys to start packing up. Um, your homework is page 401 and 402. Make sure you guys do 401 and 402. Have a great night. Like and subscribe.